Well, after years of anticipation, the Lake Bemidji South Shore will now have a new tenant. Our Josh Peterson shows us how the official sale of some prime real estate will set a new standard of living. <laughs> after years of speculation and planning, the paperwork has been signed and finalized for the sale of some prime lakeshore real estate on the south side of Lake Bemidji. Icon Architectural Group and the City of Bemidji finalized the sale of the property so that a mixed-use development called the South Shore Crossing can officially become reality. We love Bemidji. We have our roots here in Bemidji and, and we said there's no option. You know, this is, this is a gap that we think we can really come in here and give something to the community um, and, and potential homeowners and new people um, coming in would desire. Icon says there isn't anything currently like the proposed structure in the area. The mixed-use structure will feature six different styles of condos and retail space on the first floor. But what will set this building apart from others are the amenities that will be offered. We're hoping that this can be something where they can come here, there's a nice cafe or restaurant on the first floor, maybe there's some people that, that work in, in one of the commercial spaces downstairs and live right above, um, and at the same time offer them such things as, as underground parking. The South Shore Crossing project is set to create a higher standard of living for the Bemidji area. It's also a project that is to set Bemidji apart from all other greater Minnesota communities. The project comes at a time of rapid growth in the Bemidji area, which was all part of the grand plan when the city of Bemidji built the Sanford Center and developed the lake's south shore. This helps set, set that standard for the, for the higher end uh, construction that we'd like to see and that we're seeing happen in Bemidji. With winter fast approaching, shovels aren't expected to break ground until spring. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For a closer look at the building, we have posted a link on our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.